Hey guys, here's the next uh, segment of the Buzz defense, and he's talking about just the the basic parts of it. We're going to get on the home bases in the next video, but I want to show you a few clips that I've got about the Buzz defense. <laughs> So those were a few good clips with the buzz, uh, and it, it should get you kind of excited about it. But now we're going to listen to this guy talk. and uh, Teaching about the buzz. Teaching. As, I, as I said, I think there's a couple things that are real, two ways you can look at it. Um, the first two years I was a head coach at Lewis Clark State, I was very blessed to get to learn from Don Meyer, Fred Litzenberger, and Bill Smith-Peters, and uh, when I was at Eastern Washington and Fred taught me the Fresno matchup, which is uh, all about home bases, which is very similar to the buzz. But you just had, there's not a lot of art to the Fresno matchup. You put pressure on a the basketball. There's one person on a ball. Everybody else is in a home spot, home base. And you sprint and get to your spot based on where the ball is, not where people are. And, so, so you use some breakdown drills to teach that sprinting and, and getting them to learn their home base based on where the ball is. And um, my first few years of running the buzz, actually the first seven until I went to Green Bay, um, I taught the buzz in that manner. We were really, really good in the science part of it, but the art part of it, which is fly around, anticipate, tips, steals, uh, we weren't as effective in it. As when I went to Green Bay, I learned from the Green Bay kids the first year, as I say on a little bit on the tape. And when I'm on the floor, Katie Hardy and Rachel Porath taught me a great deal in one possession about how to teach the buzz better. And I used to put seven players out there, and you'll see this on the breakdown, and teach the kids how to sprint to their home bases. Um, and we did one possession of that at, at Green Bay, and those two kids lost their mind. And I said, fine, we'll just play five on five, get it done. And I watched one possession and I'm, I learned something watching one possession. Stop. You just taught me something. The aggression and the art, the flying around, the anticipation that you're learning playing at five on five is way more important than us just learning our own basis. Because you're going to have breakdowns. You're going to have mistakes. And you have to learn to play through those mistakes and still fight and stay aggressive until you can get back balanced. Uh, and that teaches that. Just the. And I've said, I say a lot, especially on the defense, that thinking feet are slow feet. Now, it doesn't give me an excuse to run around like a chicken with your head cut off. But, you know, the, the, the main thing about this is that you're playing hard, that you're flying around. You're playing five on five. If you're doing five on seven all the time and you're just teaching the science of it, which is a part of it as well, you have to have some of that in there. But the other piece, is the, the art is so much more important. Um, and I think you as a coach, I think this is a really important part. You as a coach have got to not lose the art of it in your mind because it's going to be real easy. The kids will start to ask you questions. This is something I forgot to mention is one of the other rules in the, in the defense when you're coaching is no questions. The players don't get to ask any questions because it's really simple. Really simple, no questions, because what they're going to want to do is start. And, and a lot of coaches do this, too, when they'll call and ask me about the buzz or email me. Well, what do you do in this situation? What do you do in that situation? Most of the time, my answer is the art of it, it is way more.
And what he means by this is you're, you're overanalyzing what the defense is supposed to do, okay, instead of just reacting, reacting to the ball, reacting to the, the flight of the ball, reacting to where the players are moving on offense, reacting to your home base. So it's all about quick reactions and moving, as a, and it's less about, you know, analytics and thinking, play, thinking how to play proper defense. Important. Just be aggressive. You start talking about what if they dribble through the guards here and get the ball here and pass it here. Stop. All, none of that matters. If you'd have trapped it hard on top and been aggressive, it would have. None of that would have happened. And I really try to apply that mentality to, to almost every action that I see that I play against, or, or I'm sorry, I coach against, or my players are having to deal with. And I really liked uh, giving the kids the freedom to make little adjustments on their own. Um, Sarah Eichler was really, really good at that at Green Bay. We played Monica Wright and Virginia in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, the second year I was there, we won our first tournament game. And uh, Monica Wright's big-time talent. And we just – they moved her around and tried to put her in different positions. And one of the times they put her on a baseline and – Sarah's playing the three spot, and she's like, I'm not going up on that wing. I'm going to stay right here on the block so they can't get the ball to her. Fine. And it didn't hurt us at all. So a little adjustment from time to time that kids can make after you learn the most aggressive phase of it. For On tape one today, you're going to see the most aggressive form and phase of the buzz. Now, there's little adjustments that you can make all the time, but not if you don't have that first phase which is the aggression. That's really, really important. Um, I just, I want to encourage you as a coach. I love the buzz. I, I don't quite frankly understand why more people aren't running it after watching the teams that we had uh, at Green Bay and Illinois set. I mean, Illinois, the first year we were there, uh, Adrian Godbold and Chris Penn were so, and Ivory Crawford were so athletic. And um, we broke two 25-year-old records in the Big Ten in our first year there, uh, one for steals and the other for forced turnovers or turnovers again. So um, the all that was because of the buzz. And we had the first winning season in conference play that Illinois had had in 20 years. So um, almost all of it was because of the buzz. And this defense is highly effective. And I would really encourage you to take a good look at this. And uh, I'm honored that you would take the time uh, to look at the tape and feel like hope. I all right. So the main thing he was talking about with that was that everything's all about movement, okay, and aggression. And you've got to be willing to play extremely hard. And and so as we put this in, you know, you guys got to understand that you've got to be willing to sprint to your home bases. You've got to be willing to play extremely aggressive. You've got to, be, you've got to have active hands. We're going to be charting deflections. We're going to be start charting forced turnovers. We're going to be charting steals. If you go in a varsity game, JV, a freshman game, if you go in there and you don't have a deflection in the first minute or so, you're not going to play. You're, you're just going to come out. So uh, as we watch this, he keeps focusing on this aggression. And we're going to start with the next tape. It'll be talking about the home bases. Okay.